transcripts. Yes, please. Let's start the transcript. So I just want to test out how this is going to go for the tarot transcript session. So I'm going to pull a very quick card for we're in September now. So let's get the September vibe for those of you on my e-newsletter list. Gosh, it looks like I'm always wearing nothing in this video. I really am. I'm wearing a full, just so we just so we're clear, I'm wearing a full dress. It just looks a bit weird on camera, but it was 30 degrees today and it's still very warm, even though it's gosh, coming up to 11 p.m. All right, so let's see. Actually, first things first. All right, so let's see. I'm going to pick a card. I'll do so. I'm going to choose that one there. Let's see what that is in a minute. Right, okay. Let me show you first of all. And I shall read it as well because it's probably going to be quite. This one is the lovers and it's archangel raphael so raphael can be for love and also for healing and it says make choices from your heart deeply emotional commitments and the power of love i can hear that song now the power of love don't worry i won't sing to you nobody wants to hear that um, so in terms of making choices from the heart particularly if you've been oscillating i'm really interested to see how the transcript deals with these words because <laughs> i can see the transcript as i'm speaking it's popping up on the other side um so um, if you've been oscillating with a decision you're not sure which way to go um it could be that you're almost not trusting yourself trusting your own judgment and you might have been over analyzing because there's nothing wrong with analyzing planning doing your research and it gets to a stage where you can also be in almost like what they call analysis paralysis where you've just kind of overloaded yourself so this one is saying taking all of that into account all of the research all of the thinking looking at the various permutations and options part of this will also then to be get still within yourself and connect in to your heart space and be asking okay what does your heart what does your soul desire and which which feels like the right next step for you you might not be seeing the whole journey what's the next step so that's what i'd say with that one now where it talks about deeply emotional commitments it may be that you go you are going to be in partnership with someone and that doesn't necessarily mean a romantic partnership it could be you're thinking about collaborating with someone working together on something bringing in some extra resource and support particularly if you feel as though you're on your own and the universe has not got your back so it might be there's another person that comes in to support you or let's say if you're thinking about it in soul plan terms for example if you have the nine nine energy in your soul plan then it will be really important to tap into the nine nine energy now as you well if you've had your soul plan reading done the nine nine like the steely serpent we talk about the the vessel that is you your body your energy field so you want to make sure your energy field is clear and consciously plug yourself back into that nine nine energy because that is powerful and when you have that activated that's the sense where you even though it might not be another person that you can physically see and speak to and hear and touch etc the nine nine gives you that inner strength and reminds you that something someone has your back so the way i put that one is like the universe has your back so you never feel alone even if you happen to be sitting in a room in a place in a space where you are technically on your own so that's that's um, super important and when it talks about the power of love the first thing that comes in is the word receiving and being open to receiving so gosh what was i doing i think it was one of it may have been oh no i remember what it was um it was for the mbs coaching the mind body spirit energy first coaching sessions group coaching sessions and i did a session on oth opening the heart and how to dissolve um energies because the heart when you can open the heart and, and one of the things about the heart space if you have been hurt before betrayed let down 
who hasn't? <laughs> um, the heart, understandably, can then start to close down to protect itself. It also then can impact your ability to receive. So if you, and, and okay, the question I will ask you, and just you're gonna, this is where you're gonna tune into your intuition, listen to your heart, listen to your gut, listen to your soul. It's gonna be yes, no, or maybe. And if it's anything yes than le less than yes, and it's probably a no. So here's the question. Are your receiving channels open? Question mark. You will know the answer to that. And if you get a maybe, or a, if you get a maybe, let's just say it's no. And if you get an outright no, then you know it's a no. That will confuse a transcript. <laughs> um, so if you get a no to that, what you may want to do is some work around the heart space and the work around receiving, being open to receive. And that can be something as simple as receiving a compliment, receiving the offer of help, receiving the offer of support, and being in a place and space where you can, I'm gonna say, it's gonna might sound weird, because it's always, hey, I can give you a hand with that. It's being in the place of being vulnerable enough to receive it. And there is, um, it's called it's called the trust fall so in this picture the main protagonist the two of them and, and i'm going to say male and female that's how they look to me on the card today they can sometimes look different uh the male is catching or supporting the female if you've ever seen the trust fall now it often appears in comedy shows where you've got somebody standing you've got someone standing and they're facing you and then this person's got their back to them and this person's going to fall and this person should catch them now in a comedy sketch this person gets distracted and looks away and they go bosh but in a real trust fall it's that place where you just <sighs> take a deep breath you let yourself fall back and the supporting partner will be there to catch you. And even if they're standing pretty close, it can still be quite a scary thing to do, particularly if you're working with a stranger. But when I say that vulnerability, it's giving yourself permission to be able to receive the help and the support from others, particularly if you've been soldiering on and going it alone for a while now. When I say a while, we could be talking decades or at least years. So that's what I will say about that one. And anyway, as I said, this is a very quick reading. I just wanted to um, check out uh, the timing and the length because we'll be doing 15 minute sessions for those of you who are doing the tarot transcripts. I think this has been about 10 minutes. So that would give you a flavor. And I also want to see how the transcript copes because I'm not going to be editing the transcript. When we do these readings, you'll get the transcript as is. Um, so I just I'm interested to see how the software coats with it. So what I will do is I'm going to cut and paste, put this text into the um, into the email just so you can get a sense, read through it for yourself, see how what's written compares to what is said. And for those of you who have booked one of the tarot transcript sessions for September, this will give you a flavor of what to expect. All right, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. If you wanted to book a full tarot reading, it's transformationstm.com forward slash tarot readings and trance, T-R-A-N-C-E, F for Freddy, so F-O-R-M-A-T-I-O-N-S, T-M.com, so transformationstm.com forward slash tarot readings, or I think it's the um, coaching tab at the top, but any problems finding it, just let me know. And for those of you on my e-newsletter list, this is who I'm recording this for, I will put the link into the e-newsletter as well. Plus, you have the link where you can book one of the 15-minute tarot transcript taster reading sessions. All right, thank you for watching. I will catch you all next time. Marilyn Devonish, the Neuro Success Coach and Tarot Reader over and out and final thing somebody said how long have i been reading tarot i first started reading tarot i would say the 1990s but was just really doing it for myself got back into it kind of sort of in around maybe 2002 2003 and then a few years after that did some tarot workshops as well so it's been a couple of decades now just to answer that question cool all right i shall stop the recording i shall stop the transcript and let's see how it's gone i'm really excited to have a look and see right catch you all later bye bye